Hey, good afternoon, guys. Tosh coming at you. It's Tuesday, February the... I think it's the 16th today. I could be wrong. could be the 17th. Anyway, out in the garage today. It's been a while since I've been out here. Probably a couple of months. And cars are just sort of hibernating. It's been an awful winter here. It's been so cold, windy, icy. And uh, we haven't got much of uh, a different story to tell today. We've got some snow falling gently, but it's... Uh, snowed overnight and I'm just sort of digging out the garage and uh, we're going to have a look out here. It's uh, <clears throat> drifted quite a bit. Probably looks a little different out here since the last time I took a video, which I think was about two months ago. And I don't think we had any snow on the ground at the time, but uh, since then we've got uh, quite a bit of snow. And I'll show you a sort of a streetscape and what it looks like today. I think the last time you could still see the grass. Anyway, you can see uh, the piles of snow that they're having to deal with. Of course, I got plowed in again, which is the usual being the, uh, the last house on the street and going into a corner so all the uh, snow gets dragged from the beginning of the street. And as soon as I start turning the corner, everything gets dumped in front of my driveway. So that's always something good to look forward to. Anyway, that's what the street looks like. And of course, the driveway full of snow again. And like I said, I got some pretty good drifts going on. So you can see, you know, we've probably got about you know, three feet of snow on the ground. And you can see how far it is up the uh, up the trees. Anyway, that's my plan for today: is to get this uh, place shoveled out again. Don't have too much to report on the car front. Uh, it's been too cold to work out in the garage, so I haven't bothered. Um, I do have a issue with the truck. I had a transmission leak, so I'm not sure where that's leaking from. It's too, been too cold to get under the truck to have a look, so the truck's just been sitting here for the last couple weeks parked. So hopefully it's not a severe uh, problem to, to fix, or that, that one might be going to the junkyard. It comes to time when uh, it's cheaper just to get rid of them than it is to fix them. So the only thing, other thing I have to report uh, before I get this guy started up I did get one little uh, gift to myself to help me with uh, my painting projects in the spring. So I got a little package from Eastwood and uh, I ended up buying the uh, another paint gun and becoming a bit of a, a paint gun uh, order. Um, I ended up buying the Eastwood uh, Concourse gun. Um, it looks pretty nice actually, it feels pretty good. I'm eager to have a test spray out of it, but that's not going to happen for another couple of months. But the reason I bought it is because it only requires uh, four and a half CFM to work. Um, and I've got a very small compressor set up. I've got a, an air tank basically with a 30, I think that's a 33 gallon tank. And then I've got a smaller, I think 15 gallon uh, compressor driving that. So I'm pretty sure I was having some problems with uh, keeping up with my other guns that uh, draw a whole lot more CFM. So I thought we'd try, instead of uh, upgrading the compressor, I thought we'd uh, give this uh, gun a try. Um, I did get the 1.2 and the 1.4 tips with it. And it comes with a metal uh, metal cup and a plastic cup. So uh, yeah, well, looking forward to using that. Other than that, like I said, nothing new to report. That uh, was the last project that I'd start on was stripping that hood and uh, that's where it's basically sat since the last time I've been out here. Um, but yeah, there's no end in sight to winter, unfortunately. So uh, I think we're just going to have to uh, wait until the snow clears and it gets a little warmer and then I'll be able to open these garage doors up. I'm uh, certainly glad I didn't bother to try to insulate the garage this year. Over previous years, I've actually uh, insulated all the doors and had a heater running out here, but it's been so cold. There's been multiple nights of where it's been minus 30 out here and windy. So you can imagine this garage gets pretty drafty and cold. So I'm certainly glad I didn't try to uh, heat it out here this year. It would have been uh, a nightmare as far as expenses are concerned. So, plus every time I'd open the garage to uh, you know let a car in or out so I could work on the TR3, that of course would let all the uh, all the heat escape and I'd have to start all over again. So, I figured it was just to be uh, safer just to get them parked away in here safely for the winter time and uh, get back to this in the spring. I was hoping it was uh, going to be an early spring, but it's not looking like that based on the weather we've had. But anyway, so like I said, I'm going to get the uh, snowblower started up. 
we'll get the snow blow dried uh, blown out for about the hundredth time this year and uh, we'll get out here when we can anyway just want to give you guys a quick update I've had a few people ask me where I've been at so there you go that's where I've been talk to you later guys